This one mistake costed her her life. Yao Jackson, 21 year old, was a college student living in Xi'an, China, at around midnight on October 20th, 2010. While driving in his Chevrolet near the university campus, he accidentally hit cafe waitress Zhang Mao with his Chevrolet as she was riding her bicycle. When he got out of the car, he found out Zhang was copying down his car's license plate number. Scared that Zhang would get him in trouble or ask for compensation money over this accident, he took out a knife and stabbed Zhang six times until she died. He then get in his car and drove off. He then hit to other people on the way and was eventually apprehended. However, the police didn't have enough evidence to connect the two cases together, and he was later released. But on October 22nd, the police managed to connect the two car accidents together and arrested Yao Jiaxin on charges him of murder. On October 23rd, Yao described the details of the murder case to the police. He was then put on trial on March 23rd, 2011, at the Xi'an Intermediate People's Court. Since Yao has confessed to his crime and shown remorse for the murder, it is quite likely that he will escape the death penalty, like other hit and run incidents. However, after this case was exposed by the media and discussed heatedly on the internet, most netizens demanded Yao Jackson must die. When the news was first reported online, many believed that Yao was a typical second-generation rich kid. Why all the hesitation should be shot to death ASAP? Who dares to cross the road in the future? No matter if Yao is second-generation poor or second-generation rich, he has to pay for his crime with his leaf. If I were him, I would have stabbed her as well. How come the public opinion all supports the victim? How come they do not consider how shameless it is for her to mark down the car's license number? For fear that country people may badger me and my family endlessly for compensation, Yell later said. He took a knife and stabbed the woman many times, killing her on the spot. People were asking, why did he do it? Yo 21, he was a promising piano student at Xi'an Music Conservatory. What made him do it? Li Mijin, an eminent crime psychologist, surmised on television that Yao's first plunge of the knife was meant to kill. But afterwards his action could be seen as a mechanical repetition, as if hitting the piano keys. In his defense, Yao said that he stabbed Zhang because she was a rural peasant implying that she might blackmail him over the car accident. One of Yao's university classmates supported such opinion on her microblog, saying that she would have stabbed the woman to death as well if she had wound up in Yao's position. Also people were able to discover that Yao's father was a well-placed military representative in Xi'an, which added to popular resentment of him. The case has gained further attention in the legal community when the judge announced that public Opinion would be taken into account during the sentence. The media attention and surveying the public for Yao's sentencing has raised concerns about the trial's fairness. An official from the Xi'an People's Intermediate Court mentions that public opinion will be considered but the judgment will follow criminal law. Commentators criticize both the defense's case and the court's procedures, calling the public survey illegal and biased towards Yao. They argue that this kind of soliciting public opinion disregards legal procedures and should be discontinued. During the trial, Yao's lawyer pleaded for leniency by saying Yao was a model student, with many awards for academic excellence. This was very ironic and led to heated discussion. Over the Chinese education system, while most parents only care about children's grades, they care less about their character and moral compass. Such a rigid education deprives children of their natural development and makes them indifferent about life. A heated online debate among public figures in China sparked over whether to abolish capital punishment. In response to the high-profile murder case of Yao in an online Yahoo survey, 96.5 percent, 10,710 out of 11,100 of respondents supported imposing the death penalty on Yao. This widespread outrage stemmed partially from fears that China would be controlled by jungle law. Jungle law refers to the idea that in the wild, only the strongest survive and dominate. Yao was found guilty by the Xi'an Intermediate People's Court and sentenced to death on April 22, 2011. He appealed the court's decision to the Shaanxi Provincial Higher People's Court, which rejected his appeal on May 20. The Supreme People's Court reviewed the case and upheld the death sentence. Yao was executed on June 7, 2011. The court also ordered Yao's to pay 45,498 yuan, about 6,983 US dollars at the time, in compensation to Zhang's family, which is like nothing in my humble opinion.